Good morning, everybody. Today, we want to talk about a little bit about what you need if you're buying a house. Um, even if you're not a first time home buyer, if it's been a while since you've bought a house, these are just some things you may want to keep in mind. First of all, number one, you need a pre-approval letter. Now, my suggestion to my clients is you need to shop for rates. You need to talk to multiple lenders. You need to shop for interest rates. You also need to shop for what it's gonna cost you in closing costs on the bank's end. And you also want to look at what you're gonna to have to put down. Depending on the type of your loan that differs and depending on your credit score that differs. So we'll get more into that in a separate video, but you need to be aware that the first thing you've gotta do is get pre-approved. Because in the market we're in now, there are very few agents that will accept an offer without a pre-approval. So you get your pre-approval and you need to understand there are certain costs that you're gonna have to pay at the front before you get to closing. You're gonna have to pay an option fee if you want an option period to do your inspections and be able to back out of the contract with just losing that option fee. Option fees usually between $100 and $300, depending on what the property cost is. It could be more if you're talking about a really multi-million dollar property, then you're definitely gonna have more than that. Um, you also are gonna have to put down with the title company about 1% usually to hold an escrow unless the seller requires more. Um, that's something that typically the seller's agent can tell you whenever you're making an offer. So you need 1%, you need one to $300 for option, then you need money for inspections. Depending on the type of loan, they, some loans require a wood destroying insect, which means your carpenter ants, your termites, anything that's wood destroying. That's about a hundred to hundred and twenty, thirty dollars. Um, an inspection on the home itself, where they check foundation, electrical, plumbing, that's going to run you about three hundred dollars. Some areas are more, some are less. Again, it depends on where you are in the state of Texas. Then you are going to have to do a septic inspection if you have a septic, if it's not on a public sewer system, I highly recommend that to all my clients. The other thing you need to be aware of that sometimes in the excitement of talking to someone about a loan and signing all those applications, sometimes we kind of forget that the lender is gonna require you to pay for your appraisal before they will do the appraisal. So you've got your option money, one to 300, 1% for earnest money to be held in escrow. You have about 100, 120 on wood destroying insect, about 150 on septic, about 300 on your home inspection, and then whatever the cost is for the appraisal. That's another thing when you're shopping around, you may want to really talk to them about because those can vary. They can be $500, they can be $1,500. So I hope this video helped you, get you a little prepared, and that way when you get ready to buy a new home, it's not a shock. Have a great day.